home, paramedics lifted, airlifted two men to shock trauma last night after an explosion that happened in Baltimore County. Yeah, this after a family used a makeshift fire pit in their own backyard. ABC 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on what happened. Jeff. Jamie, while much of the focus is on that fire pit, it appears there were a number of factors that combined to create that explosion. Police, fire, and hazmat units raced to a remote area off J.M. Pierce Road in Moncton on Sunday night after an explosion that could be heard from a great distance away. And then it was, uh, I mean, pow. I mean, it sounded like a cannon going off. Not like, you know, we hear gunshots once in a while on the fields and so forth, but nothing, you know, we hadn't heard anything that loud. You know, and then we came out and checked, and I didn't see anything. I looked for flames. I didn't hear any, you know, I didn't hear any screaming or anything like that, so we just went back inside. First responders would find a family of four that suffered various injuries after a blast in their backyard. A family had been sitting outside around a bonfire, uh, and they had been using the drum of a washing machine uh, as a makeshift fire pit. And something caused that fire pit to explode. A family member who lives nearby said a 65-year-old man and his 38-year-old son both suffered the most serious injuries with each of them breaking a leg, while the younger victim's wife was covered in soot and required treatment for smoke inhalation. Her two-year-old daughter also experienced minor injuries. And while you can find plenty of people online who repurpose washing machine drums as fire pits, we're told this family was using a decades-old model that contained a ring of lead shot for ballast, which may have made the explosion that much more dangerous. And investigators already have a pretty good idea what ignited it. There was some kind of an identified accelerant that was used, and that accelerant is what exploded. They have determined that this was an accident. There's nothing criminal involved, there's no foul play involved, and there's no charges pending here. At this hour, fire officials say the two men remain in serious condition at shock trauma, while a family member says the 33-year-old female victim remains in the intensive care unit at the University of Maryland Medical Center.